everybody, JC here from Toy News International and MarvelousNews.com. And today I'm throwing up a quick news video just to give you some highlights from the first day of the New York Toy Fair. I'm actually just filming this from my hotel room, so it's not going to be a long video. I do recommend, if you haven't already, to please check out ToyNewsEye.com, MarvelousNews.com, JediInsider.com, and TeamFormers.com for all the news from Toy Fair. Um, to see high-res images and get specific details. But again, I just wanted to throw up a quick video to go over a few highlights from the first day um, of the event. And so first of all, I'm going to start off with NECA Toys, and they announced some really cool DC Comic versus two packs. These will be based on the old Dark Horse Comics and DC Comic crossover event that they did, I think, back in the early 90s, where they did... Batman vs. Predator and Superman vs. Alien. So we're getting a cool comic version of Superman, two co cool comic versions of Batman, one in an armor. Looks pretty cool. And then getting some cool like variant alien figures like a Joker looking alien uh, figure. So definitely um, very cool. These are, these are going to see a general release. They're going to be released quarterly. So um, they're not exclusives or anything like that. Um, on DC collectible front, they did announce, unfortunately, that the movie line, the seven-inch uh, figure movie line, is going to be put on hold right now, kind of indefinitely, meaning there's no, you know, no definite that they're ever going to release them. But basically, what they told me was they put them on hold because there wasn't a lot of retail support for it, mainly because there's so many movie lines going on right now with like Mayfex and SH Figure Arts and everything like that. And if down the road when, you know, companies aren't doing them so much, then and maybe retailers show some uh, interest in, in, in DC collectibles doing them, then they might release them at that point. So, don't you know, they're not definitely ever going to come out, but right now they're basically on hold. Um, they did announce a pretty, you know, cool set, a two-pack featuring Doomsday and Superman. That's part of the Icons line. And you know, definitely very n nicely detailed to celebrate the anniversary of the death of Superman comic book. Um, so if you're a fan of Doomsday and Superman, you want to check that out. The Justice League box set with the Rebirth figures that's going to be out in the next month or so, so that's still coming. And the TV series figures are are, are definitely still coming as well. Also, they announced the Bat Cave for the Batman the Animated Series line. Uh, they call it a vinaigrette. It's not a full-on back cave, but basically the back computer, and that's going to come with an exclusive Alfred figure, and it's got lights for the back computer, and you can switch out the screens and everything. So definitely, that's very cool. I think it's going to cost around one hundred and seventy-five dollars. On the SH Figure Arts Tomashi Nations line, they announced a couple new uh, Street Fighter figures, including Cami. We got a, a look at the prototype for that. And also it was announced that they're going to be doing Pacific Rim figures for the new movie. NECA Toys is no longer going to be doing Pacific Rim. So if, you, if you're a fan of that movie and want to continue to see figures, you'll have to switch over to Tomasi Nations. That's the only company I know at this point doing figures for that movie uh, going forward. And then the big news comes from Hasbro and had quite a few Marvel Legend reveals. So again, I'm not going to go over everything in full detail here. Please go to MarvelousNews.com if you want to see high-res images and specifics. The highlights include that they're going to be doing a Toys R Us exclusive box set based on the A-Force. So uh, Monica Rambo, I forget how to pronounce her name, but uh, she used to be Captain Marvel, and she's changed her name a couple times. Uh, Loki, the uh, female version of Loki, Sif. Elsa Bloodstone, Singularity, and She-Hulk. Again, this set's going to be a Toys R Us exclusive. Don't have a price range, but probably looking at probably around 120 or so, and don't have a specific release date. Target's going to be doing a 12-inch black costume Spider-Man. So if you're a fan of the 12-inch figures, that'll be a Target exclusive. Walgreens going to be getting a second exclusive on top of the Invisible Woman this year, and it's going to be the Human Torch. That's a 6-inch figure. Walmart's going to be getting a two-pack of Vulture and Spider-Man. Those are comic book versions. Toys R Us is going to be getting a two-pack of Mary Jane and Spider-Man. They're also going to be giving, uh, getting a, that Toys R Us also going to be getting a two-pack of uh, Dark Phoenix and Cyclops. I don't have images of that yet. I'm trying to get them from Hasbro. They didn't release them. 
uh, with the initial batch of images, but and we weren't able to take pictures of it, but but that's coming to Toys R Us. There's going to be an Amazon exclusive box set for the three and three quarter inch line. That's going to feature Doc Ock, Electro, Craven, Mysterio, and Vulture. And the cool thing about that is it's going to come in packaging that's reminiscent of the old Toy Biz five inch figures. So it's kind of a tribute to those. We're going to get a three and three quarter inch Guardians of the Galaxy box set for those are comic book based. I believe that's going to be Toys R Us. Also, they rounded out the figures that are going to be in the upcoming Spider-Man wave, the new one with the homecoming figures. So we already knew about the Spider-Man with the web wings, the Spider-Man with the homemade costume, and the vulture figure that are all going to have the build-a-wing feature. We're also going to get Moon Knight, uh, modern Moon Knight. We're going to get Beetle, Tombstone, and Cosmic Spider-Man. There's going to be a, a two-pack with Shocker, and Spider-Man, that's going to be a three and three quarter inch scale. Netflix figures are going to round out with Daredevil and Elektra. That's going to go along with the Punisher and Jessica Jones figures. There's going to be uh, an, the, the second Guardians of the Galaxy weave is going to have um, uh, movie versions of uh, another Star-Lord with the long jacket, a scarf, uh, Gamora, Rocket Raccoon that's going to come with Kid Groot. He's going to have two different head sculpts. We're going to get um, the Mantis. Mantis is going to be the Build-A-Figure in that wave. We're getting Nebula and then comic versions of Adam Warlock, Death Heads 2, and Ex Nihilo. So that's it. Um, I believe that pretty much covers most of the big stuff. Again, please go to the websites. Check out all the high-res images and, and details. I'll do a full-on news video when I get back from New York probably uh, early next week sometime but again if you want to stay up to date with all the latest news hit up hit up this hit up the sites and until next time guys I'll catch you later